Hey students and parents, I'm Ms. Strum and I'm your ELA teacher. And I'm Ms. Travis, I'm your math and science teacher. We're going to go over some guidelines about virtual learning that we're going to follow this school year or while you're at home virtual learning so, to clear up any questions that you might have. We introduced ourselves, so this is just a um, virtual learning back to school night. And we just want to talk about a few things that we expect um, while you are a virtual learner. Okay, the first thing we want to go over is our daily schedule. At 855, we will start letting you in to our classes to have um, instruction. So we need y'all to start logging on at 855 because we I will start instruction at nine o'clock for ELA. So always log on five minutes early and we'll go ahead and let you in to class. It is imperative that you're on time because we will start counting tardies and absences if you're too late. Ms. Travis and Ms. Strom, both of us, we will respond to parent questions or student questions from two to 2.30. We are teaching other students throughout the day, just like we're teaching y'all when we're doing virtual instruction. So we wanna give them the same time that we give y'all. So we will not be able to respond to any questions until our office hours at two o'clock to 2.30. Tutorial will be with your homeroom teacher. So if you've been added on to our list and we're your virtual teachers, please make sure you go to your homeroom teachers tutorial assignments. And if you are unsure of what that is, please contact them through Canvas inbox or through email. And please make sure if you're a Team Clinton, you're logging on the correct day. And if you're Team Arrows, you're logging on for the correct day. And when you log on at nine o'clock in the morning, all morning work must be completed because we will start reviewing it right at, at that very moment. Um, we want to talk quickly about grades and attendance. Your daily grades and tests will be located in Canvas. Um, you need to be sure that you check Canvas for the date um, and the weekly newsletter. Our newsletters are uploaded and you can see your assignments for the entire week on your newsletter. Um, check Power School for dates and grades as well. Um, I do want to quickly talk about the attendance policy. Uh, this begin goes into effect August the 31st. So you are considered tardy if you try to log on two minutes after class has started. So if you log on for Ms. Strum or you're supposed to be logged on at nine o'clock, and you log on at 9.02, you will be considered tardy. Three tardies will equal an absence. So if there are three instances where you're tardy, you will be considered absent. After 15 minutes, a student will be counted absent from the course and will not be allowed to be join the meeting. So you, for instance, if you're logging on for me at 11, if you try to log on past 11.15, you will not be allowed into the meeting and you will be considered absent for the day. Um, you have to stay logged in to your class from start to finish. Now, I know sometimes Zoom will occasionally knock you off, but you need to immediately request to be admitted back into the class. Because if you're not present for the entire class, you're considered absent. The next thing I'd like to go over is Accelerated Reader, which is AR. Um, this will start on September the 8th. Soon we will take our star reading test and I need you to do your very best. But for those of y'all who are doing the virtual learning, you will be able to take AR tests at home. You will only be take, able to take them during the hours of seven and three. After that, you will not be able to log on and take any quizzes, but you are able to take them from home this year. You must reach 85% and earn all your points to meet your AR goal. And at you will have access to MyOn, which you are able to download books and read those books that are on your AR level. All books that you are earning points on must be on your AR level, and I will send those to you. Um, these are just a, just a little bit of information about Canvas. Um, Canvas is what the entire Clinton Public School District is using. We wanted it to be universal for all schools so that parents could um, understand and get used to this platform as well as students throughout their entire school experience. Um, all of your assignments are located in Canvas and we have it organized by modules and the modules are organized by week. So it's very easy to find your week and see what you're doing underneath there. 
um, it's very important for you to watch or read the information that tells you how to mark up and submit your assignments on Canvas. And that information is listed in your Strum Travis box. There are videos that you can watch. There's information that you can read that show you exactly how to do this. And this is very important because your student will be submitting assignments through Canvas weekly. So we need to make sure that they know how to do it the correct way. Um, your child has been provided a username and password sheet with all of their information. That is, that does include your Canvas information, your Canvas logon. Um, and always go to your Strum Travis box in Canvas to find your Zoom link. Um, that is where your Zoom link for virtual learning will be every day that you're supposed to be on. Um, that is under the subject that you're logging on to for instruction. So Ms. Strum will have a link under ELA and I will have a link under mm -hmm. math. So you click on that link and it will take you to the virtual uh, meeting. A few other items in Canvas that we'd like to go over are make sure that you go to your assigned teacher's course and then to module for your assignments and resources. Like I was talking about earlier, if you're an add-on student from another homeroom teacher, team teacher pair, go to that teacher's assignment. That is where you will have your assignments and resources under their module, okay? When logging into Zoom, we need you to make sure that your first and last name appears on the screen, not the letters and the numbers that you use for Canvas and such. We need it to have your first and last name and you should not have a profile picture up. And the final thing about Canvas and technology, Zoom lessons will be recorded weekly and uploaded on Thursday and Friday for you to access. That way, if you're absent or something happens, you can go back or you can even go back and review the lesson. Now, just because you watch the lesson does not mean that counts as you being there for class. You actually have to be present and logged on for class. But this is just for those emergency situations when something comes up, you will be able to go back and get the lesson that you missed. And those will only be available for 10 days. Yes. And after those 10 days, they will no longer be there. We are so excited to have y'all in our fourth grade classes this year. Um, we hope that y'all are staying safe, healthy, well, and we look forward to seeing y'all in person. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all. <laughs>